All right, so some characteristics of JavaScript objects. They are freeform, they're not bound to a class. Object literal notation can be used to create objects. We saw that you can use a curly brace open close with nothing there to create an empty object. Or you can use the curly braces open close and have properties and uh, values defined with the format property colon value. And then if you have more properties, you do end, you know end it with a comma and then the next property colon value, comma property colon value. So you can define as many properties as you want in that literal uh, structure. Object properties can be accessed directly. There's no private and public here. Everything is public. Uh, for the most part, again, there is a hack to solve this problem, but JavaScript does not come with that out of the box. Out of the box, all objects are public and accessible by anybody. New properties can be added on to objects directly. Again, since there's no class structure, there is nothing which prevents you from adding something to an object. So any object can be modified and new properties and values added directly to that object. That finally, objects can have methods and I will cover this later when it comes to uh, when we cover functions because that's a unit that's coming up. But keep that in the back of your mind. There are methods that can be added to objects, but again, it's different from your traditional uh, you know, approach of having classes which have methods. Here it's all properties, so it's a bit different. Uh, 